So I believe Motorola is going to surprise us with another Edge phone alongside the Edge 50 Pro. We already know the specs of the Edge 50 Pro which will come with the latest Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. However, there is a strong report saying that Motorola will launch another Edge phone with the latest flagship CPU, the A-Test Gen 3. For those who don't know, a few days ago, Qualcomm unveiled two chipsets, the 7 Gen 3 and 8 s Gen 3, designed for affordable flagship phones. And according to the GSM Arena, the Motorola H50 Pro might come with the new 8 s Gen 3 CPU. We were initially thinking the H50 Pro to come with the 7 Gen 3, but it may actually come with the standard H50. As we know, Motorola typically launches two devices every year, or they may be planning to launch an Ultra variant this year. The 8S Gen 3 features advanced AI capabilities, high quality sound and a camera system that is always aware of its surroundings, bringing the CPU closer to the 8 Gen 3. This CPU is a complete upgrade from the 8 Gen 2. If you are looking to buy the 8 Gen 2 phone, wait a while because the 8S Gen 3 might take over the market in the future. Just a reminder, a few weeks ago, Motorola released a teaser for the X50 Ultra in China, indicating that it will be an AI phone. This almost confirmed that the H50 Pro will come with the new 8S Gen 3 processor. Apart from the naming confusion of this phone, we also have the other specs of the phone. Like in the past 6 months, we have seen many flagship phones launch without curved display, opting instead for a flat display. Like the Pixel 8 Pro last fall and the Galaxy S24 Ultra in January. However, Motorola is sticking with a curved display for their latest phone. The display will be a 6.7 inches with a 165Hz refresh rate, making it ideal for gaming. Motorola has used the H50 Pro with a triple camera setup on the back. This includes a 50MP f1.4 aperture main sensor as well as a wide angle and a telephoto lens which could be a 6x zoom. This camera setup looks pretty incredible with laser autofocus and OIS also included. We will have even more information about this device and the correct naming of the phone on April 3 when Motorola will launch their H50 series globally. So what do you think about this H50 Pro? Let me know in the comments. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.